All right, we're out here at Orlando Speed World. We're gonna test the Trailblazer for the first time. Uh, I actually did just make a uh, like a shakedown pass just to see. I spun the tires. I wanted to see if I could do it in rear wheel drive, but unfortunately in rear wheel drive, it will break the tires loose if I foot brake it. Uh, so moving on forward, I'm just gonna go in four wheel drive. Uh, I met a guy here named Sam. Ironically, has a Buick Rainer and they also have a 4200 in it. So he has a- front wheel drives now. The front wheels I don't think are working. The lights on on the dash. Oh, okay. That's fine. I mean, yeah, just you know. But that's it's awesome that this happens to be here on the night that we are testing because this is a bone stock Atlas 4200 in a Buick Rainer. So I don't. I'll have to look up the weight. Uh, I'll put the weight comparison down in the video below. But it's got to be very very similar. Um, so four wheel drive or all wheel drive? It's all wheel drive, but the front, the all wheel drive's not working in the front. Okay. There's a message, you know, there's a light on the dashboard showing okay. that front wheels are not Okay. So I'm super excited to be able to shake down next to a, a bone stock 4200 Atlas so you guys can see a comparison. Uh, what we will do on nine PSI versus a stock Atlas platform. Um, so I will say, I'll show you my shakedown pass. I only ran an eighth mile. I do not have a video of that pass because as soon as I pulled up to the lanes, they were like, sir, you can go. And I just didn't have time to get my camera ready. So this is my shakedown pass. Um, reaction time's garbage because I just sat there. I wanted to foot break it. 60 foot also garbage because as soon as I got off the line and it started to get in a boost, immediately broke loose the rear tires, which that's to be expected. We're on street tires. I did not know if the rear wheel drive was going to do all right on the street. It's fine, but uh, I also haven't foot braked it on the street. So here we go, 6.8 to the 3.30 and 9.9 to the 8th. Now, I don't know what a stock SS runs in the 8th mile, so I want to do some comparison, but 9.9 to the 8th, 81 miles an hour in the 8th. But funny enough, letting off, coasting to a 15.4 at 78 miles an hour in the, in the quarter mile. Now, I'm pretty sure a bone stock uh, Trailblazer LT doesn't even come close to running a 15.4. And we ran a 15.4 letting out at the eighth mile. So I'm pretty excited. We are data logging it uh, per Jeremy's request. Uh, unfortunately, I did not get the brisk plugs installed. Uh, so Jeremy, I'm really sorry about that. We are still running it on the one stage colder plugs, uh, the same plugs that we run on the Coyotes. So we're still not on the copper core. We're still in the iridiums. Um, it should be fine for tonight. Uh, we're letting it cool off here and then hopefully we'll make another pass. We'll, we'll do a pass next to Sam and the stock Buick Rainer and uh, we'll see how it does. All right, guys, this is for, uh, for the Atlas 4200. This is us racing a stock Atlas 4200. The data log is going right now. Uh, so everyone is aware, manifold air temp is currently 162, uh, intake air temp is 144, currently dropping. We are up to operating temperature 185 degrees. Um, the intake manifold temp is dropping a little bit, um, but it's probably still going to be still going to be pretty warm. I don't do a burnout because I don't need to. I am going to launch in four wheel drive. The Buick Rainer is all-wheel drive, however, it is not uh, functioning properly. Let's see if we can have a decent launch. Now, if you guys 
remember in Jeremy's dyno video, it did randomly drop injector dead time at one point to like a very, very, very low signal. So I, I, I think that might be what just happened, but there's no way to tell. I'm gonna save this data log and send it to Jeremy and see what happened. That was a full quarter mile pass. It was like a dog out of the hole. It had those two hiccups. See if we can one run another pass cleaner. We got to let it cool down. Just so everyone knows, intake manifold temp is back to 161. Intake air temp is back to 144. And coolant temp is back down to 187. So that is a testament to the meth injection doing its job. But who knows why it had that hiccup. You have a helmet. I don't. Do I need one? I don't even know what I ran. 14 -0. Oh, okay. Do I need a helmet? You technically, technically no. Okay. But I know you're gonna run faster. I don't know. I mean, that was that was pretty much what I had in it. I'm not gonna say. It may go a little bit faster, but not. That's not. that's my point. Oh, okay. As just a little bit faster. Oh, is it anything? Thirteens. Thirteen nine. Okay. I always say if you're hitting fourteen oh, you're eventually gonna hit a thirteen nine okay. in that same night, especially because you've only done two passes. So okay. Basically. All right, first quarter mile pass, as you guys know, you guys heard it break up those two times and I think it might be the injector dead time, but super excited for the first quarter mile pass ever uh, to go 14-0 in a pretty heavy SUV. I'm pretty excited. So this is for science right here. This is a stock Atlas 4200 and an all wheel drive Rainer. And this is a nine PSI boosted Atlas 4200 and a four wheel drive trailblazer. So that is a three and a half second difference and almost and 24 miles an hour. So this is what essentially $4,500 gets you if you boost an Atlas 4200 uh, on comparable vehicles. So I didn't have a very good 60 foot. Um, even though I, I launched in four wheel drive, I didn't, I don't think I foot braked it hard enough. So this is promising to have a 2260 and still go 14.0. I mean, there is a lot of meat on the bone right there. So. If we can get that down to a 2.0, maybe a 1.9, um, launch it like as hard as possible, I think we can see a mid-13. Now, on my shakedown pass, I ran 81 mile an hour in the eighth. Now, that could be due to spinning, or it could just be due to the fact that it didn't do that weird hiccup thing on my shakeout down pass. So, um, I don't know if it's something that, I mean, it did it on the dyno randomly. There was no way to tell when it would do it and when it wouldn't. Uh, we'll try it again. Uh, I had the trash completely off and I'm pretty excited that, I mean, this thing ran pretty good. I mean, that's, that's a formidable time, especially in a full SUV. I mean, another thing I want to know, this is full weight. I took nothing out. I mean, everything is in here all the way to the spare tire. So we could probably pull a couple hundred pounds out of this and still, still make a lot of improvements. Definitely walked right by the stock Atlas 4200, but 
that is okay. Uh, we definitely don't expect that stock Atlas to win, but uh, yeah, super, super happy with, with the results so far. All right, guys, I'm super pumped. On the second full quarter mile pass that this thing made, we went 13.4 at 104. So the mile an hour, it seems like, is gonna be what the mile an hour is. Now, I'm surprised. I actually felt like I left way harder than that. So that's only a tenth better than my first 60 foot pass. However, it was three miles an hour faster in the eighth. It had none of the hiccups and the short track is just what did it. I mean, 13.4, that is, I'm super impressed. Now, again, this is a stock Atlas 4200. So now we can officially say that this is four seconds faster in the quarter mile and still 24 miles per hour faster than a stock Atlas 4200 in comparable trim. That uh, was four wheel drive. This is all wheel drive, same weight, full weight, both vehicles. This is the difference. So if you want to know why you should boost your Atlas 4200, this is it. I'm super pumped. I cannot, I, I cannot say how happy I am that this thing is performing the way it is. I do think it has more in it. I, maybe like a low 13. The, today's is, is pretty, it's pretty muggy. The, the ambient temperature is not bad. It's like 75, but the humidity is just through the roof. Um, on a cool night, I believe that it would make a huge difference. So we'll come back. We still have some more uh, some more tuning to do. We need to put the air to water air cooler on as you guys heard from Jeremy's video. I'm working on that in the background. Uh, it's, it's a little bit more involved than you might think. Oh, junior director, that's my daughter soon. Just to FYI, putting you guys on notice. Uh, so anyway, Super, super pumped. I mean, that that is that is awesome. For I, I know some people don't think it's a full-size SUV, but to me, it's it's pretty dang near a full-size SUV. For that to be running 13.4, I mean, that's that's awesome. I had SN95 Cobras that run 13.4, so for this full weight tank to do it, and I mean full weight, nothing has been removed. Uh, that's impressive. So thank you guys for watching. If you really like what you see uh, and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, give it a share. Um, and I really appreciate you guys and all the support. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.